Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, kick your feet up, subscribe to this family-friendly channel, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any posts. Also follow me on Instagram at the same profile name, officialbun underscore e. Now let's get to the recap. Tommy greets everybody saying, hey, it's getting serious. It's narrowing down. It was sad that we had to let Naya go, but we've got to move on. And I must remind you that it's going to be uncomfortable, but we got to really see who we're connected with. We have eliminations coming up, and this week it's one man and one woman that will go home. And with everything going on, I can understand how everybody can get a little homesick. So with that being said, we are going to have an H-Town throw down nice cookout. And everybody is really excited because Tommy's talking about wings and potato salad, some butter beans, all kind of good stuff. And he lets them know it's getting to the nitty gritty. So take things very seriously. He even makes some jokes with Edwin like, hey, are you ready to throw down? And Edwin is like, hey, I mean, hey, I always keep my apron ready. So I'm here if you need me. Adriana is sitting with Calfani at their own table while everybody else is eating their brunch and they're talking about man i can't wait for this cookout later on it's gonna be so good and adriana she just like me she's saying man i can't wait for this cookout i'm already thinking about what i'm gonna wear in my head plus i'm thinking about that last time we sat on that couch over there and you had my blood pressure just going all kinds of crazy because she's referring to that kiss they shared last time and of course, Denise is at the other table looking like she about to pop something. She in the production scene, you know, rubbing her neck, just tension. Just, uh, and it's driving her crazy that Kelfani is with Adriana, but she is playing it real cool, which is surprising. Later on, Denise and Anthony, they go for a little walk and talk and share a little kiki key. And she feels that Kelfani is going to date, so she needs to keep her options open and talk to Anthony just a little bit more. They compliment each other. They say how they love to make each other laugh, and they share some jokes. And Denise says, when I was younger, you know, I was even in Essence Magazine. You know, I moved. From Houston to New York with $200 and three luggage bags. You know, one for my toiletries, one for my shoes, and one for my clothes. You know, I went down there trying to be something and then come to find out that something told me I needed to come back home. So I came home and I did some soul searching and I worked on myself. Joy and Jay, they have their moment and Joy wants to take him on a date for wine tasting. He's never been wine tasting before, so they giggle and laugh because he doesn't know how to sniff the notes out of the glass and smell it and look at it. And she's like, you gotta hold it up and look at it in the light. He's like, all I see is wine. So they laugh and they joke and they kiki key, key, key. And Jay is just like, okay, well, how would you describe me? What type of wine am I? And she's like, ooh, you know, you're a full body wine with some chocolate notes. A little sweet, and I'll even call you vintage, you know. He's like, oh, so you said I'm old? She's like, no, vintage, you know, something that you keep on the shelf, you know, you cherish it and look at it, you know. And Jay is just like, okay, if I want to describe you, you be heavy on the, you know, the Afrocentric wine, you know. It'll be only 12 in the world, you know. And Joy is just like, only 12? Like, there should only be one. He's like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I said that went wrong. I should have carried the one and left out the two. And Jay is just like, well... Tell me if you can guess the wine correctly. And he's like, okay. And she's saying it all seductive-like and all that. So she's giving him the different kinds of wine. And he's trying to guess. And he's getting it wrong. He's like, oh, you know, I can't remember all of that. I'm getting the guesses all wrong. But she says, you know, there's one more thing you can taste. And it's a kiss on the cheek. So he kisses her on the cheek. And she's like, I think I need another one on the other side. And he's like, well, of course. You know, they both have to match. And then that leads to a few kisses on the mouth and I'm like finally okay it's been like 10 years finally a kiss or something y'all say y'all feeling each other then we have Rashid with his creative self. He has, you know, a nice bag and they go to the side where they can see the lake and all kinds of stuff. And he's brought some cameras where they can take pictures of each other and nature, which was just so sweet. And they're being silly and goofy with one another. And Rashid's just like, you know, you a model, go ahead. I'm gonna sound like a photographer. Okay, yeah, that's what I like. Turn, oh, wonderful smile. Oh, great. And Adriana's just laughing. And they are really just 
just vibing and having a good time. And Rashid says that he feels the day is just natural. Things are just flowing. They're sharing jokes and laughing at silly poses that they're doing. And he just feels like everything flows and there's no need to overthink anything. Simone and Edwin, they enjoy some nice small talk by the pool. And Simone just thinks he's just such a gentleman. And he's telling her, go ahead, have a seat. Let me go ahead and lay this towel down. I don't want you to be hot. Just being very, very nice, cordial, just cool, calm, and collected. And she asked him, you know, being in law enforcement, how did you go from that to following your dreams as a chef? And he's just like, well, you know, being a chef, meal prepping, helping others, that's just who I am am and I just had to make that journey to find what made me happy and he then explains that he was raised by his single mom but his father unfortunately wasn't in the picture and then Simone unfortunately starts to interrogate him instead of asking questions and she's like well how did it make you feel that you're knowing your dad wasn't around wasn't he in your life and it was just like well I mean it didn't give me a good feeling but I knew I had my mom and Simone just cutting them off. Like, I mean, you, I don't believe that. I mean, I believe that, you know, that really would hurt you knowing that your dad would have been. I mean, like, didn't that affect you? And he's like, I mean, it made me sad, but I just, and Simone's like, no, 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 no. It affected you. I, I mean, that's just, you know, I don't think that's it. You know, that that's hard to believe that it didn't. And Edwin feels like he's been interrogated in court and he can hardly get a word out. And it's just making him feel very, very uncomfortable. And Edwin even says it. It just left a bad taste in my mouth and it just didn't make me feel good. And I felt like I was just being pressured to say something. And then when I tried to give her an answer, it just wasn't acceptable. And it just wasn't what she wanted. Simone keeps going on and on. Well, have you had therapy? And do you talk to people? And by this time, Edwin is telling production, like, I'm clearly over it and I'm done. And it doesn't even feel like we're just having a conversation. It feels like I'm being interrogated. Adriana and Rashid share some more laughs and they agree that their date feels very natural. They talk about kids and how they were growing up being an only child. And now Adriana wouldn't mind being a stepmom, cheering on his son, embarrassing him at games all loud with a t-shirt with his name on it. And they're just laughing and just sharing some good times. And he's just like, yeah, I always growing up just wanted to have a bigger brother and I always envisioned me and the older brother going to the basketball court and just beating everybody in the game just one game after another and he's like yeah that's my big brother you know I always had those thoughts and they just laugh and share those memories and what they thought about certain thing, grow, things growing up later on everybody's having dinner and Rashid and the fellas joke about how Brian can never give a complete answer and then they talk about the time where Tommy asked him do you think th things are stronger or weaker with Alex and he answers saying streaker and they laugh and they talk about man that's crazy he could never give an answer and you could tell by Alex's body language and facial expressions that she seems to feel a little bit embarrassed that not only did she notice the behavior, but now everybody notices the behavior that Brian does and not being able to communicate and giving strange answers and not being blunt with a yes or a no. Rashid even throws in the final gut punch and saying, man, the fellas, you know, we try to have his back, but it's difficult. And Alex feels that she shot herself in the foot, spending too much time with Brian, giving him chance after chance, not knowing the other man. And Kelfani starts another freestyle and Brian starts with the rhymes, but he doesn't do too great. Joy jumps in and says, from shot town, I do more than get by Chicago bread, Texas feed. I'm going to get you and put you to bed, bed, bed. And everybody dies laughing like, oh, my God, that was so cute. So Alex is sitting in her seat and Brian is like, come on, I got your beat. Go ahead. And she's like, I'm sitting in my seat vibing to this beat. Yeah, I like Brian, but I also like Rashid. And everybody is like, oh, 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 no, she did. Oh, dang. And Brian is just like, dang, I mean, that was a nice bar. And even Rashid is like, ding. Okay, she putting it out there, <laughs> but it was just so funny. Rashid and Simone try to vibe and Rashid says, you know, I know you have other guys on your list, but I just want to know, like, 
why me? Like, what do you find interesting about me? And Simone says, you know, you're handsome, of course, and you were married for 10 years. So that says a lot about you. And you're just recently divorced. And Rashid said, I loved being married. I felt like I was at my best. It's just things didn't work out. And Simone says that your intentions and what you want, you're very sure about yourself. You ask questions. You're very tentative and you're a good listener. And I just really, really dig that about you. Edwin and Joy have more time to talk and Edwin explains that of that morning, he got up super early and he was just looking at the view, looking at the water. And while doing so, he just reached his hands up to the heavens with his heart and lifted everything. And he just broke down in tears. And him being a law enforcement and former military, he seen that he, he just had a lot of trauma and they see things that the average everyday person doesn't see. And he's working on getting through those moments so he can have more peace. And Joy feels like he's got a lot of layers to pull back, but he's aware that he needs to continue and grow to find his peace. And most people would just suppress it or just feel like they're actually getting through it, but they're not. But she admires that he's pressing through and he's acknowledging the things that bother him and the trauma that has followed him concerning his PTSD. Anthony and Winter take a moment to talk and as they're taking a walk, they pass by Jay and Jay makes a little joke and says to Anthony, man, why every time I see you, you got my girl with you and he kind of pulls her away and they share a very endearing hug, very endearing to the fact that he has the hand on the night, the low bottom part of the back, you know, and Winter is bothered that Anthony doesn't even fight uh, enough to acknowledge that he's in interested with her like the fact that Jay just kind of pulled her to the side and Anthony just kind of stepped aside like okay and Winter's just like you know I want him to fight for me but not like literally fight but it would be great if he showed some more initiative he could have said no nah, man I'm talking to Winter you you know you can come back another time and that was just kind of like a uh, vibe to her after Jay walks away, she says to him, look, you vibe with Denise, right? So how's that going? Because I'm very upfront with my connections here. And Anthony says, yeah, I mean, she's she gets good energy and, you know, I'm, I'm digging her like that. And I'm feeling you as well. Anthony says in the production clip, you know, this entire experience is just like speed dating on steroids. You can't come on too strong. If you wait too long, it's too late. And it's just like you got to just lay your cards out there. And it's just really hard for me. And so I'm hoping that she's feeling the energy and that, that I really do like her. And Anthony says he's afraid of getting hurt. You know, he saw his parents together, married, happy and growing up. And he only wants to get married once. And Winter says, you know, I've been married and divorced and I know that you have to put your feelings out there when it comes to love. I just want to be in a peaceful household and I'm ready to throw caution to the wind when it comes to love. And sometimes when it comes to love, you just got to jump off that cliff and take a chance. Alex and Brian talk and Brian feels that Alex is still his number one pick, but he knows that the energy has been off ever since her friend came to visit. And Alex says, you know, you really don't listen to me and you deflect serious moments. Like when I try to tell you about my domestic situation, he was just like, your domestic situation? She's like, yeah, when I told you about how I was in a domestic abusive relationship, you remember when I told you that? And he was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And she's like, well, you know, you don't remember certain things because you don't really listen. And I try to ser share serious moments with you. And in the midst of me doing that, you crack jokes. And Brian is just like, I mean, I mean well, and I'm not doing it on purpose. And she's like, yeah, I understand. But, you know, have you ever really been in love? And Brian says, yeah, I've been in love like once. She's like, once? He's like, well, you know, I just feel that I've just never really taken that stuff seriously. And I'm just a young man just kind of acting up and doing what I do. I just really didn't take stuff seriously. Simone then talks with Brian and Calfani, telling him that she's interested, but she knows eliminations are today. And Calfani says, well... I mean, I placed energy into people who showed interest in me, but I really don't feel that we had that connection. Simone then tells Brian, you know, you're surely on my top, you know, of pics of people that are here. And Brian is just like, well, I mean, there really hasn't been any consistency with 
people that you're digging or feeling. So I'm really, I just don't know. And I want to know about you and Rashid. Like, isn't there something with that? She's like, yeah, I just want to let everybody know how I'm feeling and who's in my top picks. Because actually, I'm just kind of nervous about eliminations. Tommy is cooking it up at the grill. And he's telling everybody we're going to have a good time. We're going to eat and unwind. But please keep in mind to continue to explore compatibility because it is winding down and things can shift so keep that in mind just get comfortable and know that we're still not at the end so with you knowing that I'm gonna get back to this grill and Edwin even steps in to assist where he's needed Adriana and Kelfani laugh and talk while they eat talking about how good the potato salad is joking how they try not to lick their fingers and all of that and they just talk about how all the food is just popping meanwhile you got Denise on the side observing it all Tommy sits down with Anthony and he wants to know who his top pick is and this is not a polygamy show you need to pick one because one woman and one guy has to go home and he's saying I like Denise the most um, but it's just hard because I like Winter and Denise. And Tommy's just like, well, you have to pick one. He's like, I'm really digging, uh, I guess Denise the most. And Tommy's like, have you experienced the possessiveness that Calfani has experienced? And he's just like, well, no, I haven't experienced that. And he's like, have you considered that different people pull different emotions from different people? Women want to be chosen. And if you're just sitting around waiting back, waiting on them to do something, and they're sitting around waiting back, someone else will come by and choose. So Anthony walks over to Winter and says, hey, um, wow, you know, the women here that I'm interested in, you, you know, you're both supportive and amazing. And Winter's just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, I don't want to hear about someone else. I want to know what you think about me. He's like, yeah, you know, you, you're just very supportive and I love your energy. And I mean, you know, it's just strange because, you know, right now I'm just stuck, you know, thinking of like who she's like, well, it sucks to hear that you're stuck that you feel that way. He's like, well, no, I mean, I'm not stuck. It's just, and you can tell by Winner's facial expressions that she is so disconnected from what he's saying because he's just digging himself deeper in hole. And Winter says, you know, assertiveness is needed. And Anthony admits that he needs to step it up and he needs to stop overthinking, especially with sports. He's thinking about the next touchdown, 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 instead of thinking play by play. Tommy speaks with Alex to see where her and Brian are and how their connection is going. And she really explains that their experience and the energy now is just, eh. and Tommy is just like, whoa, that's, that's a switch and that's not good. And she tells him he doesn't listen when I speak. And he says, it's never been a man that's in love or interested that can't change their ways. If they really, really want to change and they really want to make some initiative, they'll do it. And Alex says, yeah, you know, I was thinking the same thing, but just with me, I thought that I would give him a chance and give him insight on stuff. And he says that he's never been in love as an adult. I mean, as a man, what do you think that means? Do you think that he's like, well, to me, it seems like in in the in betweens that maybe he just wasn't serious about a lot of stuff. And she's like, yeah, that's kind of what he said. It's later on in the night, and it is time for eliminations. Tommy sits with the women, and he wants to know who everybody is compatible with. Who are their top picks? Winter says Jay and Anthony, but Jay is her top choice. Joyce says Jay and Edwin, and Jay is her top choice. Adriana says Rashid and Kelfani, and she can't make up her mind who the top choice is. Denise says she's still solid in Kelfani and Anthony, and Simone says her number one pick is Rashid. The guys that a lot of women disagree on that they're not feeling is Edwin and Brian. Tommy sits down with the fellas and asks the same thing. Jay is feeling joy in winter. Edwin, joy is at the top of his list with Kelfani, it's still Denise and Adriana. And he's observing that when he told Denise the last time about being possessive and acting like she's jealous, she listened. And when she was, he was on a date with Adriana, she kind of stood back, didn't really say anything. 
But if he had to choose a number one pick, it would be Adriana, which is a switch because he was so gung-ho about Denise. Rashid is picking Adriana for his top pick. And Brian, when it gets to him, everybody starts laughing because, of course, this is the guy that can't give a direct answer. And he says that Alex is still number one, but feels that their vibe is off. And he knows definitely that something has changed. But if he also had to pick somebody else he was digging, it would be winter. Out of the least amount of women who they're feeling at the bottom of the list, is Simone and Denise. They still feel that Simone really is aggressive with her conversation and that they're not having a conversation and they feel like they're in court. With Denise, it's nothing against her, but nobody is just really connected and vibing with her with overall. Now it is time for eliminations. Instead of going to the side and talking with men directly or the woman directly, they address the entire room. So Alex is going to announce the male elimination. Alex addresses the room and says that the women agreed that this person isn't really connecting with that many people and that they feel that they're not ready to love. And Brian, that person is you. Brian thanks everyone for the experience and that he had fun and he knows that he's got a lot of learning and growing to do. Now it is time for the women to have their elimination. Edwin addresses the room, starts a little long-winded, but basically gets to the point and says collective, collectively, the men have selected this person because we feel that they are trying to connect with a lot of us a little too late. And that person is Simone. And Simone is sad that she's going home. You can tell with her hugging Rashid with the look of, oh, I missed out. And she's sad that she's going home. We can see the tears. And she says that this experience has made her learn and grow. And all of the critiques and everything that she's learned is going to help her in the future. And that is the end of the episode. Okay, look, y'all, I have yet to be wrong. I have yet to be wrong. I told y'all who's gonna go home and why. I told y'all from the jump that Simone was an awesome person, loved her personality, loved her humor. But when it came to cutting certain things off and learning how to learn about herself, unfortunately, the insecurities, the treating people like they're being interrogated, it was all gonna backfire. Doesn't mean that she's a bad person. It's just learning the balance of just chilling and kicking it and cutting work off in your mind and also not judging people too harshly the first time that you meet them. I mean, she was just press, 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 press. Edwin don't need no pressure. I mean, you was just pressure, pressure, pressure. And then Edwin, you know that man got PTSD, girl. You was just pressing him too hard. You know he dealing with a lot of stuff. Stuff. Like, man, I felt like the episode of Martin when Martin was talking to Gina, he was just like, you plotted and you schemed and clank, clank. You got what you wanted. Dang, will you marry me? Are you happy now? Like, I feel like that's the proposal she going to get if she keep press, 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 press. And these men out here, girl, rah, 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 chill, my friend. Ah, ah, you know, I hated that she left, but it was your time, girl. <laughs> then we got Anthony with the nerve to say, oh, it's so hard to choose between winter. Let, 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 let me help you out. Anthony, Um, the women already done that for you. Uh, They not choosing you. You next. Um. Uh, Brian is finally gone. How y'all, I'm going to say it again. How y'all keep Brian and not David? What? What, because of Alex? Because she was digging him? Man, oh boy, y'all couldn't have me on that in that group. I would be like, so we keeping him because she the only one that's connecting with him. No, he got to go. Like, I, 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 he got to go. Uh, Jay and Winter seem to vibe more than Jay and Joy. Like, once again, I feel that Joy and Winter, they being on some miscongeniality stuff. Like, come on now. Joy, I mean, you make Jay laugh and all that other stuff, but you was all up on him. Like, you was 
all on his lap requesting kisses and stuff. He wasn't all up on you. When Jay was hugging Winter, I mean, that hand was pretty much almost to the gluteus maximus. I mean, almost to the peachy peachy. I mean, he was really like, Anthony, how you gonna be with my girl? I mean, what? Like, girl, joy. Girl, you might wanna skr skr to Edwin because, mm, like you called him, the mix of, what was it? Tay Diggs and Floyd Mayweather. You may want to go on here. And girl, don't trip over Jay. Like, he, his hand's the same size as mine. Something ain't right with that. Okay, Rashid, Rashid, Rashid. When he sat down with Adriana and he popped that camera out, um, I didn't know where their date was going because my mind was on another planet somewhere. And I'm like, you pulling out a camera? Like, what are we doing? Like, we making a movie or we taking pictures? Like, what are we doing? Is this a panoramic? Is this a canon? How much space do you have? Because, um, I mean, we outside, we by the lake, and ain't nobody around here. Rashid, you can't be doing that with your height and them super coolers. You can't be popping out cameras. You can't be doing that. Like, these women on here, on this show, they're like, oh, I can't be taking pictures. Yay. Like, I just could not. Like, I, it's just too much temptation. Like, and then enjoy talking about some, ooh, taste the wine, close your eyes. He would have been like, oh, okay, I'm closing my eyes, I'm tasting wine. He would have been like, oh, is that? Is that a nipple? I'm like, no, 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 that was ice. You, boy, you playing. That was not a nipple. That was ice. Anywho, Rashi with this camera, and they're all like, ah, he, he. I mean, I would have been on some, we're going to take these pictures, and then we're going to go by the campfire, and we burning all of these. But we'll have fun first. But it was just really, really cute to see Rashid and Adriana. Adriana, I'm telling you now, if you pick Kelfani, Use a dumb dumb. Use a dumb da da dumb dumb. Uh uh. You better pick Rashid. Let me tell you something, cause y'all connecting on some adult grown ish. If you pick Kalfani, it's because you are basically curious about what if what at. Never give up a sure thing, baby girl. Don't do it. And I got a feeling you gonna do it. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. I got a feeling like you want your cake and you want to eat it too. But you can't do it. You can't do it. Rashid is on some serious stuff. He said he loved being married. He said he was at his best when he was married. That man is designed to be somebody's husband. That man is designed to wash your car, to clean the house, to cook the food, to rub your back, and to crack your back. He's there. You better stop playing. Kelfani, you better look, he better look past the muscles. You know what I'm saying? He chocolatey and everything. But girl, 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 girl. But now pass that on that man, girl. If you pass on that man, either that or your friend that, that came there to talk with him and she was <laughs> being all flirty wordy and all this other stuff, you're going to be catching the bouquet at their wedding. I guarantee if you do not pick Rashid. I hope that Alex and Anthony are the, the next ones to go home. They are. And if not, it will be Alex and Anthony. Mm, let me see jay because winter didn't you say that you and your friend kind of agreed and i actually joy you agreed somehow along the way unless y'all just tag team and agreeing on comments that jay wouldn't really give direct answers he was giving like sales pitch answers like he was a salesman i'm kind of wondering where that intuition went because jay just seemed like he kicking it like he really ain't all up on nobody like that but winter and if he is digging winter like that he need to make a smooth cool move you need to put your shaft coat on and be like winter like who is the man that's gonna have this hand on your butt jay you need to put it on man put up come on show that chest be a little cocky just a little bit if you don't have him in him i promise you winter ain't gonna feel him like that she probably gonna say i'm not ready to love and she gonna dismiss herself because if jay don't step up like that she already cutting off anthony in her mind after them, them comments that he made if jay don't step it up she's turned off by both of them because she likes for a man to be aggressive she likes for a man to be assertive and they're just not seeing that they're just not showing that jay i mean he did a little something something but it was all right it was all right ah. 
Alex, girl, I'm going to tell you something before you go home because I know you're leaving. But anyway, girl, that flow that you did when you was talking about Ryan, I kind of like that, girl, when you did that little flow and you was talking about how you like Rashid. I like that and all this little stuff. That's nice. That's cool, girl. But I was kind of standing up. I thought she was going to go in on Brian. You know, I'm at home like, come on, whoop that trick. Get him, whoop that trick. Get him, whoop. I'm like, girl, you, you going to go in? Girl, do I need to get the mic? Do I need to have you like, I'm going to knock you out, girl. I thought, bruh, I thought she was going to go in. I was about to start sweating. I'm like, okay. But, girl, you didn't put the gloves on. Womp, womp. Rashid could have not pulled that stuff with me because I would have took him back to the resort. I would have took him back to the resort, and all you would have heard was a bass line. Doom, 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 doom. Yo, this what you talk. You're on Spanish and French. Yo, this what you talk. Mm-hmm. Dollars and yen. What they in there doing? Why that music so loud, girl? I don't know. Stop playing. Tell me what you think about this episode. Leave your comments below. Remember to be respectful to one another in the comments. Check out the latest post about Ivy Park, the Black fishing all of the latest shows that have come on a few things in pop culture check out the latest videos that are on the channel and also check out the movie and television show recaps now we're just we're just kind of holding it in until some more shows pop off this fall we got the season two of wu-tang and american saga slowly getting these shows back on hulu and more stuff on hbo max because of this covid has pushed everything back so we just we working it out y'all but stay patient as soon as more stuff comes on tv we will be recapping and talking about that in the meantime stay safe i love y'all and uh that's about it i'll see you next time Bye. y'all wrap it with me i'm gonna no english spanish bye